points. Joining us now is Liz Young, Head of Investment Strategy at SoFi. Liz, great to have you with us. Um, we got those retail sales numbers and we did see a turn in the markets. We saw yields go higher. We saw uh, a decline in gold prices. I'm wondering how you interpret this data in the context of what the Fed could do. Well, first and foremost, retail sales data came in negative, and that's something really to pay attention to. And if you look at what happened in the first six months of 2022, retail sales was positive that entire time. There's been a decided turn down. That's not necessarily some sort of catastrophic event. Consumer spending should probably cool in a situation where we're trying to lessen inflation. But note that retail sales did come in negative. I think that yields are up because they were actually stronger than expected when you strip out autos and gas. So there was a little bit of an upside surprise, although still a negative number. I do expect that the consumer continues to pull back on spending little by little as we go. But remember, the consumer can change their mind on a dime. So if things start to worsen, you're going to see consumer spending change quite quickly. As for what the Fed does in May, there's still a lot that's going to happen between now and then. We'll have almost half of the S&P having reported earnings by then, so they'll have a lot more data than what we have today. I think one of the biggest data points between now and then is the jolts number, and they'll be watching the labor market very closely. If I had a vote, which I absolutely do not, nobody calls me for my opinion from the Fed, but if I had a vote, I would say it's probably a good idea to pause here and wait for some more data to roll in. Yeah. Um, of the bank earnings, which uh, stand out to you? I mean, uh, to varying extents, they were all sort of beats um, on what people had expected. But these are the bigger banks, not the, reg not the smaller regionals. That's right. Well, I think there's a few things at play here. Obviously, a diversified revenue stream helps uh, certain companies. In a lot of ways, some companies' loss was another company's gain, and you're seeing that come through in the results. This is a good start to earnings season. It's, it's good that we didn't start with a bunch of really bad news, and we didn't start with something that gave people sort of that fear of contagion in the financial system. As we know, that's one of the systems that we really want to feel safe and secure in. So I like that the big banks have come out so far and given some positive news. We do have to wait and see what happens with the regional banks and then obviously what happens with a lot of the rest of the sectors. One of the most interesting things about this earnings season is that the sectors that are expected to contribute positively mm -hmm. are mostly cyclical sectors. So if we are headed for a downturn, we have to watch those numbers very closely.